I'm here in Sorrento. We arrived a few hours ago. Hope you can hear me because we're walking right next to the road with the cars. But ah! anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, we just arrived today and I've never been here before. We just came out of the Airbnb. We don't know where anything here is. So this is our first like 30 minutes out on the streets. We're just trying to like see what is where around us. So we're here in the main street. We literally just live like three minutes to walk away from the main street. So that's great. I'm standing here because the main street is very like noisy. So I don't think you guys would hear me. But we're gonna eat. I will bring you with me. And I will show you everything. So yeah, let's go. Let's see Sorrento together. First test of pasta with buffalo. I've never tasted buffalo meat before. It's good. It tastes pretty normal, like cow <laughs> very good I think Ischia as I've understand is the little island where Italian people from all over Italy mostly from Naples travel to Ischia so that's more like Italian vibe with Italian people but here we've only been here for few hours but I think this is more touristy yes of course it's near the Amalfi coast so very packed many people guys look how many people crazy and there's only like youths here like teenagers crazy but it's Friday night so that makes sense so after walking the street here we Shabar, thank you. Ordered mocktail. It's mocktail, so it's like juice. I like it, it's like drinking lemon and strawberry juice. Mm. Let me taste yours. Oh, this one was very fresh. But I like the red one more. <laughs> Last night after the dinner we got so tired so we just went to sleep. Um, so I didn't vlog that much last night. And the streets here, my first impression is that I like Ischia more because like it's not that classy around Sorrento um, it's more like a party place I think or we don't know yet because we aren't that known with this place but we want to go more towards Amalfi I think it's better there um, but we're visiting like a beach kind of place down the hill here we're getting some breakfast, or actually it's lunch because we woke up pretty late. Oh my god, so narrow. <laughs> Everyone are following. Let's see.
på om Nicky ska hoppa härifrån. Okej, nu kör det. Nu kör det nog för Okay. Hey, Louis, yeah. Hi, Queen. No share it. No share it. No share it. No strax. Come in. Come in. We must hold the hands with other folk. Yeah, no share it. Come in. Come in. Come in. Okay. No share it. Ja, ikke flere som kommer inn. Hvor er hun? Hvor er hun? Guys, I freaking jumped from here. Er det tid? Ja. Guys, I jumped from here. Crazy. This was me for one hour. I was standing here for so long. Don't think about it. Yolo, yolo. Yolo. At one time, one by Italy. That's it. V. V. I took a shower and we have reserved a table um, with a very nice view. We reserved this for the time the sun is setting, so I hope it's beautiful. Um, I'm currently, as you see, I'm doing my makeup. Oh, you know when I jumped from the cliff? It was so much pressure, so my nose and like up to my brain, it feels like I can't breathe because I got so much water inside. I held my nose but it was too much pressure so I, like it slipped so I got so much water inside. But the place was amazing. It was so many tourists but we all like became a group of friends kinda. Like we were just encouraging each other to jump and yeah like the one girl just held my hand for so long before I jumped and she was so sweet like without them I would never jump but they were comforting me and comforting each other and yeah everyone was so nice today it was really a really nice day so tomorrow early in the morning we're going to Positano and I'm so excited I've been dreaming of going to Positano it's been on my bucket list I think we're just gonna eat and then go straight to bed because we have to wake up at like 7. I don't wanna be like tired when I'm there, I wanna be full of energy and oh I'm so excited. dressed up um, I'm wearing a white dress it's gifted from gosh I don't remember the brand I will <laughs> write it down here oh my god what Verge girl Virg girl <laughs> I don't know how to say it Verge girl and we had a reservation for 10 minutes ago no, I don't think it is. Oh, okay. I'll just put on my jewelry and I'll be right back. We are very late, so we just have to run. It's like 30 seconds away, but still. <laughs> We're at the restaurant, finally. It looks so nice. 
Oh, I think the stars are here. Special sauce. Yes. Mmm. Eh, voila. Gracias. Un apetito. Gracias. Look at this amazing view. So pretty. We both ordered beef, beef filet, and entrecô. So hungry. Haven't been eating since we were at the beach. So it's a few hours now. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm. The beef here is 10 out of 10. If you come to Sorrento, visit Nino's restaurant. So good. The best beef I've ever tasted. Wow, it's crazy. So we got pre dessert. I've never heard about pre-dessert before. Let's see. It's raspberry ice cream and chocolate biscuits. Very fresh. Okay, so this is the tiramisu. Whoa. And we got some pastries. Pastries? Pastries. Pastries. Like this, so I'm gonna try each one. The first one is the watermelon, I think. It's cold. Mm. It's like lemon inside. It's like chocolate biscuit. The watermelon was 9 out of 10. This is maybe 10 out of 10. It was so good. This one. Mm. 7 out of 10. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Last one. It's like soft inside, but crispy on the outside. Eight out of ten. The coffee taste was more strong. Five out of ten. And I love tiramisu. I like it more sweet. We are walking around in the main street. It's Saturday and there's per usual full of people. As I said, we are going to Positano early tomorrow, so we might just grab an ice cream and just go oh. to bed. Wow, how is it? Ah, thank you. The very, very, very good. Thank you, thank you. I love this dress, guys. It's so beautiful. I got it in a size 10, but I feel like I could wear a size 8 as well. So yeah, if you get your hands on it, you should definitely buy it. It's perfect for a tan skin on vacation. You see how many people there are here? The funny part is that no one is doing anything. Everyone are just standing and talking. Like it's not happening anything. They're not going anywhere. They're just standing still. Just look. Back in the Airbnb. I'm gonna remove this and just go to bed. We are going to wake up in six hours not enough sleep for me i love my eight hours but on vacations it's like this you just want to enjoy all the morning and all the night so i feel like i need a new vacation after this vacation but it's fun just getting the most out of the 24 hours but yeah waking up tomorrow early going to positano and i can't wait so i'll see you guys um probably on the boat bye good night good morning we are on the boat guys we're here actually crying we just arrived and I just started crying <laughs> I think it's because I'm so sleepy we didn't sleep so much so I have 
I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so first things first, we gotta eat breakfast and I gotta put myself together so I can enjoy this. Wow, so many feelings. I don't know why I started to cry. <laughs> we found this cute little um, restaurant with sandwiches and salad and smoothies, so we have ordered. This is the view. We just need some energy because we haven't slept that much and we are so hungry. We took a ferry for 40 minutes. Um, and you know when the boats go like this, you get extra like sleepy. So yeah, we just need some energy and then I will explore this whole place. So we ordered um, salmon sandwiches and some detox smoothies and this mango and avocado salad looks delicious. <laughs> so we're at this little cute boutique. <laughs> I found this dress. It looks like a skirt with a top. Let me show you. Is it cute? I don't know because I don't like it if it looks like I'm wearing a skirt. This is my outfit by the way. The skirt is from Tiger Mist, bikini top, ASOS, and my bag, my little Italian vintage bag. I love it. And it fits so much, guys. I have so many things inside it. I bought the dress. It's this one. It was cute. A little Italian vibe. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. <laughs> I'm out of breath because we're walking up oh, the stairs. So beautiful. We rented a boat and it arrives in approximately one hour. And we have it for four hours. So we're exploring the island for one hour now. Whoa. I'm speechless. Guys, when you come to Amalfi, be, be prepared for so many stairs. Oh, you should really wear good shoes. I'm wearing sandals, I'm dying. But it's worth the view, wow. But you have to walk a lot. I'm like burning every gelato I've eaten. That's good. I got some sandals, these ones, so cute. So we rented this boat. This is our captain, Lorenzo. Hello. He's gonna drive us around Amalfi for four hours. Okay, first Down. stop, we're gonna Down. swim here. Down. Maybe uh, later. Okay. Is it downstairs? The water is so clear. This is Arienzo Beach, most famous in Positano. It's possible to go only by boat in this beach. You can only go by boat. Yeah. Nice. So we're going inside a cave. Probably off his skin. Very nice this side.
So we are having a beach stop here in Amalfi. We are gonna go off here for 30 minutes and watch Amalfi. Okay. Okay. The city of Amalfi. We're gonna get this famous limoncella. It's like a lemon sorbet inside a lemon. It's this one. Everyone here are eating it. it looks so good and so fresh. Grazie. Oh my god. Just like the picture. Okay, taste test. The famous Amalfian lemon sorbet. Mm, so fresh. You should really try this. <laughs> We're going back to the boat, walked around for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's impossible to eat with the waves. A few hours later after Positano, we went home, um, changed. This is the dress I bought in Positano. Very cute, very like summery. Summery, is that a word? We're at this restaurant with live music. He's playing saxophone, it's so beautiful. Wow, look. I was gonna vlog for you a tasting test of the pasta, but it's empty. I kinda just... it was so good. It was 10 out of 10. What was the name? Italian ravioli with mozzarella. No, with parmesan. 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 And um, I don't remember. Anyways, and the vibe here at Sintonio so good. So the experience here just makes the food taste even better if you if that makes sense. Hey guys, it's the next morning and today I'm actually alone because <laughs> I've been waking up my boyfriend so early every day for different adventures so today we were like okay I'll just let you sleep just rest and so yeah I found this little beach club um, 50 minutes away from us I just walked down the hill and it's pretty nice it's like wait I can just show you so you lay here and you can swim here and this is the sea so i just got some breakfast a croissant and a fruit salad with my juice and i brought my book so i'm just gonna lay here a few hours just chill and work on my town for those of you who want to come here i'm not really sure about the name but it's next to peter's beach
ready dress from Verge Girl. Verge Girl. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Dress gifted. I love Verge Girl. Like the ew ugly background. <laughs> but the material is so flattering and the dresses are really nice. I styled it with these yellow vintage heels. Today we haven't reserved any table at any restaurant, which you should here in Italy because it's so full of people and everything is reserved. So fingers crossed that we get to eat today. We just stopped by a pharmacy and I found this cute headband. I think it goes with the outfit, no? I think I like it. Look at these restaurants. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm still not sure about this headband. Maybe I should tuck everything in. Please follow me a shoe. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I've never seen a restaurant like this in my whole entire life. It looks like like it's literally a garden. And there's even lemons in the trees. The name of this restaurant is Parajuana La Favorita. Parajuana La Favorita. It's in the main street in Sorrento City. Come here if you have the opportunity. It's so nice. Like, I just want to take a million photos. It's so pretty. It's crazy. The employees here are not the best because they're kind of stressed. So you get the angry vibe from them which I hate because usually the other restaurants here the employees have been so nice so happy which makes the experience so much better but here they're like not even smiling but you should still come here it's very pretty Grazie. <laughs> so this is the garden behind the restaurant it's so beautiful like there are couples sitting everywhere just chilling I actually brought fruit rollers from Norway with me in my luggage because I knew that we were gonna eat so much gelato so I bought a gelato now with raspberry and melon because I heard it's better if it's like fruity oh it's already like okay <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's good. I like it. I give it 10 out of 10. Whereas I didn't want to fake the first um, impression, so I had to film me filming the TikTok. Let's try fruit rollers. I'm in Italy now. But
beautiful day. Me and a girl, we've been following each other on Instagram for quite a time and she's in Italy here so we plan to meet so uh, we're gonna have a double date we're meeting up in Positano now um, we rented a scooter it's like a half an hour drive to Positano so we're gonna eat a dinner there my LV heels from Zara dress from Tiger Mist and I have to wear this helmet so my hair is gonna be so destroyed when I'm arriving but let's go <laughs> I'm dying. I'm wearing a bonnet underneath, so hopefully it won't destroy my hair. Outfit check! by night it's even more beautiful almost so Alisa and her boyfriend are six minutes away waiting for us at a restaurant we're a little late so Alisa if you see this I'm so sorry the way here from Sorrento was much longer than we thought and the roads are so narrow so we had to like go slow it's so pretty here Oh my god Okay, we are coming here every night What? I have like goosebumps so This is Alyssa And her boyfriend Yosef We got our food We got some lasagna What is this? Spaghetti with anchovies okay, And this is? Breaded veal Nice. Yeah, I love it though. I'll teach you teach you some. So cute. So we just ate and we took some photos and we're getting our scooters now because you can only park here until midnight. So, but we don't want to go home yet. So we're trying to park it somewhere else. Oh, we just parked next to each other. Really? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. cute with the helmet. <laughs> Go. <laughs> we have a lot to learn. Now you don't need to work. Oh, watch out. Guys, look at her nails. It's not focusing. It's so cute. It's 1 a.m. and Alisa and Yosef went back. But they were so nice and we had a really nice time together. Um, it's time for us to go home as well. We're just enjoying this fabulous view in Positano before we are heading back. Let me show you. Oh, it's so amazing. I wish you guys could see this in real life. Crazy, like this is the pyramid, so pretty. Just gonna enjoy Positano a little more and then we're going back. Good night. Hey guys, good morning. It's the next 
day. I've been in our balcony tanning and reading my book. We have the scooter today as well. So we're just gonna maybe find some hidden spots, hidden gems. Last night was so fun with the Americans, with Alyssa and Joseph. It's so fun meeting people from the other side of the world. Uh, my cover-up is from Zara, by the way. Sandals, Havaianas, helmet, security comes first. Let's go. We found this amazing restaurant while driving with the scooter. showed you guys the one we ate breakfast or lunch at and it's in 30 minutes so I'm gonna finish this do my hair real quick and then we're off I'm wearing this dress again the one I bought from Positano I didn't have 21 dresses with me for three weeks oh my god it's so pretty here the sun is setting 8.30 and it's like 8 now, but where is the... Where is the sun? Why is it not setting? Where is the sun? But it's so pretty though. <laughs> I just started, but I ordered a ravioli. So the food was shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we only like paid for the view. We waited 70 minutes, like one hour and 10 minutes for six ravioli bites. Guys, I'm starving, I'm still hungry. And the food was so salty. Uh, I'm so disappointed. And why does it take 70 minutes to cook six ravioli pasta bites? I don't, like I literally don't get it. Like I never complain about food because I'm not that um, picky but this one was really disappointing It's very early still so the street is full of people and yeah it's good vibes <laughs> Guys remember this one from Amalfi? It's so good Like it's so refreshing this is actually our last night in Sorrento because tomorrow we are going to Positano and we'll stay there. And the two last nights we don't have anywhere to stay. We just left it like open, I guess. We didn't book any place. We still haven't found a place. So currently we're homeless the two last nights. We cannot end the night without a tiramisu. Mm. Why is it so good? <coughs> so I'll just end the night here and I'll see you guys tomorrow in Positano. This is my outfit for the last night in Positano. It's from Mikas, I think. It's gifted. Very sexy. <laughs>
We found this restaurant. Guys, look at the view. Grazie. Okay. Is the meat? Do you want it? So this food is really good guys. I'm giving you honest uh, recommendations here. So if you're coming to Italy just I promise you my recommendations are true so the name of this restaurant is Rada I ordered um, pesto pasta but I mixed it with beef filet and it's 10 out of 10 just next to the restaurant there's a beach club inside the caves let's go check it out Good morning, it's around 11 a.m. I found this cute beach. We're eating breakfast here and then just laying on the beach, relaxing, hopefully sleeping. I need some rest and then we're going to Naples later. Last night was so fun. It was the last night in Positano, so we just found this cave club kind of thing. The first songs, like the warm-up songs, was so good. It was like Drake and all the old school hip-hop songs. And then we had to change our parking spots for our scooter. So we did, like it took like 20 minutes. And when we came back, the genre was totally different. It was so funny. It was not our type of music. We, we just made the best out of it. And it turned out pretty fun, actually. Okay, I feel like the vlog has been a little um, confusing, maybe, because yesterday we left after the beach we left sorrento then we arrived in naples where we ate the pizza um yeah and then we went to bed and guys i've slept like 12 hours my eyes were so puffy when i woke up because the last three weeks i've slept like six hours maybe more or less and it was also raining last night actually so we were like, if we stay on an island for the last two nights, what if the storm doesn't let the boats go? Like if they cancel the boats, then we can't get to the airport. So we decided to stay in Naples the last two nights. Um, not a big fan of Naples to be honest. So I'm taking the boat to Capri tomorrow early, staying there for the last day. Like, I'm going early, 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 like 7 in the morning. Every place has its own charm. And there are like hidden gems everywhere, I guess. So, it's not specifically Naples. <laughs> I felt bad for saying that earlier. When I'm on holiday during summer in a hot place, I just like to spend the day on the beach and just relax. I'm not a big fan of walking around in a big city 
big crowded city like I just want to chill on the beach but I've had that for the last I don't know how many days so I'm not gonna complain I'll survive one day walking around in Naples but I'm not gonna lie I'm looking very forward to Capri tomorrow so this is the fit wait let me show you um, this is a dress from Tiger Mist, but I'm wearing it as a skirt. This is thrifted. I was actually saving like the best dresses for the last night, but it's not so warm today. Let's go. What? It's raining. So we bought our umbrellas and this one is actually kind of cute because it's matching my outfit. Imagine going to Italy and you have to buy an umbrella. That was like the last thing I thought I would purchase in Italy. So guys, last night in Naples we ordered this. I don't know what it's called but it's so good. It's the best thing I've tasted in Italy. It's like kind of pizza bread and it's like cheese and a crazy sauce. It's so creamy and so warm. I don't know how to describe the flavors. Mm. The bread here is amazing. Mm. Ten out of ten. I ordered um, gnocchi. I don't know what it is to be honest. I think it's like potatoes, and I've heard it's really good here in Italy. So I'm trying this. Salad and a pizza. The texture is funny. Now we're just chilling at the hotel for a little bit and then we are gonna try to find a nice restaurant with a view or something came to the exact same spot as we were last time where we had our breakfast it's the nicest view oh thank you and these sandwiches are actually so good we ordered the same last time Mama. Look at this cute baby living her best life in Capri. <laughs> she really is. I got you. Oh. I found this beautiful dress. So I purchased this dress. It's screaming Italy. It's from this brand. We're gonna get an ice cream or something. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're so pretty. We got some tiramisu. This one has ice cream on top. It looks delicious. Spending the last hours here at the beach. Mm. 
Stop. Our last meal, some ravioli. Mm. Wow. wow, best ravioli ever. What's the name of the, this restaurant? Yolanda. Yolanda. Yolanda in Capri. Come here and order this ravioli. Marquigua? Yeah. Wow, crazy. It just melts on your tongue. Mm. Guys, they're sharing plastic bags because of the waves in case of people are gonna vomit. Oh my god, even the idea of this makes me sick. Oh my god. We're on the ferry on our way back to Naples and then we are just heading towards the airport. So this trip has come to its end. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate every one of you and I hope you enjoyed watching me on this Italy trip. It was so much fun and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Love you.